Hello, my name is Enrique and I am a Dixmith CEO and I've been working with Odoo for the last 8 years. In today's video, we'll dive into the QGeoff module by OCA. This video will try to help you understand what the QGeoff module is and how to install it and configure it, and how to use it uh, with a practical example. QGeoff is a module that will allow us to uh, split uh, biggest tasks uh, into smaller parts and execute them in background, uh, allowing you to offload time-consuming operations from the main user interface. This way, they will not see the classical uh, loading uh, interface. Uh, this is really useful when we need to process a lot of data, like updating thousands of records or, uh, or posting several invoices or something like that, or uh, when we need to import or export large data files. Uh, this is done by splitting this big task into smaller set of tasks that will be executed by one by one, by one and can be even parallelized. Uh, by default, QJob will uh, parallelize all the tasks, but we can even uh, chain them if we want to in order to execute one task after the other if we need to. However, this is uh, out of our scope right now uh, of this video, and you can check how to do it directly on the documentation of, uh, on, on the GitHub of OCA. Uh, the main benefits of this module is that, will that it will improve your system performance by splitting this task and uh, enhance the scalability of it. Also, we will be able to monitor uh, all these tasks and see how they went and even check the errors. Uh, as they are processed uh, in a uh, parallelized, uh, they, uh, if one of these tasks fail, all the others will be executed. So uh, we can check one by one how it, how it went and uh, we can even check the errors and see uh, what happened and fix the related records if necessary. So uh, let's try to see how to install it in our system. And I have here uh, one Odoo interface. Uh, now I will try to find the queue job and, and I will activate the module. Uh, by doing this, uh, it will not work because uh, we need to configure something else in the system. Uh, why? Well, it is uh, this the queue job relies on a specific threads for these jobs. So we have the threads that the users will use when uh, using the Odoo, and the threads that will be used uh, only by this uh, by our interface, and we need to handle them properly. So, uh, in order to do that, uh, we just need to go uh, onto our configuration and define something diff something extra. Uh, in this case, uh, we need to add something like this. Uh, what does it mean? So, we will define uh, some server-wide modules. These modules will be executed at the beginning of the instance, and this will allow us to create the threads. Uh, we need to add some workers just to handle everything properly, and we need to define some channels. Uh, by default, uh, the queue job creates only one channel, it's called root, and it's the main channel, and everything will be assigned to it, but in some cases, uh, we want to split these, uh, the jobs between different channels, and give them different priority by giving them more or less uh, threats. In this case, we'll only use uh, one channel, it's called root, and we'll give them one thread because we don't need to split so many things here. So once we have this and we restart the server, everything should work. However, we will not be able to see the code, uh, to see how it works directly, because we need uh, a specific, uh, a specific uh, module that executes uh, everything. 
So in this case, uh, we define it a new module called QDemo uh, that depends only on account and QJob. And in the account move func uh, module, we will add a new function that will be called QPost. And for each record, we will post it with delay. What does it mean? This means that the function is not executed uh, directly. It will be, uh, this will create a new queue job that will execute the action post later. So it's not done automatically by the system. Uh, also, we will go uh, to the, we will create a new uh, server action to check to execute, uh, to generate the, the, multi the multiple selector and uh, an action there. So for account move, uh, we will create a new uh, action that will be called post with queue. And for all the records, it will execute the queue post. And that's all. And also, we need to define something else. Uh, that's the job function. What is the job function? The job function is th something that we will need uh, to see which is the exact channel that we will use for this function. So uh, in this case, we decided that for account move, we'll have the method queue post and by default, it will be executed on the channel root. We could specify a specific channel if we need to, but we will not use it right now. So once we have everything, I just will stop and start everything again, just to be sure that everything is loaded properly. And then I will return to the browser and find this module. It's QDemo. So what happens? On the job functions, we have the new queue post for account move. Uh, that, as I said, it will be executed on the root channel. And we could even say, uh, add some uh, retry patterns like on the first retry, wait 10 seconds or something like that. By default, we will not use it. Uh, it will retry. Uh, if it tries to do the task, it will be done automatically. So how does it work? OK, let's create some, uh, some invoices. One for Decodict. One for Azure, and I will create uh, one th that should fail. That is this one without a customer. So now, if I go to the invoices, I can see the three of them. I can select them, and I can execute the action post with queue. As you can see, I posted them with queue but they are not changed, that the state didn't change. However, after some time, two of them have been posted and one wasn't. Why? Because uh, we had no customer here. Let's see what happens, or what the job, the queue job said. Okay, as you say, as you can see, we had three actions. On the first one, it everything happened properly and the task was done. On the second one, we had the same, uh, the same happened. But on the third one, something failed and the, po and the action couldn't be f uh, fulfilled. Why? Because as you can see, the field customer is required. Please complete it, complete it and validate it later. Okay, so now we go to the, to the related task and say, okay, I made a mistake, 
it was related to the codict, don't worry, and we can go back to the task and requeue it. Now, as you can see, it has been processed properly. This is really useful when uh, we have several tasks or uh, like thousands of invoices to post at the same time. This way, if something fails, like a missing uh, tax or missing customer or missing information, nothing will happen because everything will be posted except the errors that can be processed later by someone. Uh, so today we learned what the QJob module is and how to install it uh, with a practical example. If you want to check uh, more information, you can see uh, on the github.com OCAQ uh, where, uh, where we can see all the documentation and, we can, and you can check all the related modules like connectors that allows us to process uh, Odoo in a different way. Uh, thanks for listening to me and see you soon.